topic. NBA players are suddenly hesitant to be going down to Orlando to live in a bubble. Now, I hate to say I told you so, but this is the whole reason why I brought up doing only 16 teams. For for weeks, we talked about this. And I said, bringing this many teams down is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it's giving more people a chance to get into the playoffs, but the the timing of it is awful. I think you and I both have agreed on this. This is a plan that should have been done last month. They yeah. should have been playing At last month. At least started last month. At least a month ago. It's going to we're there uh, by the way, they pushed up the uh, the start date. It's not going to be July 30th instead of July 31st. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh at this point, like you're going to have fans in the stands for all kinds of different games and you're going to have NBA players living in a bubble in Disney World after the park is already open. And they're not going to allow the players to go to the park. They're allowing the families to come down after a certain point, but they're not letting them go to the park. It, who wants to do that? Like They said that it will be down to, what is it? It'll be down to 16 teams within 53 days. Or no, it, it may be down to eight teams in 53, whatever it is. It'll be pretty quick. It, it'll be fairly quick, but it's still like two months. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, I, but to get from twenty two to eight, that's that's a lot of teams you got to knock out. Well, you got to knock out the six non playoff teams. Seven seven game series. Yeah, once the playoffs start, so you can't you can't use that. You get down to sixteen pretty quick. Right, right. Well, you get down to sixteen, which and is then the, the playoffs, playoffs start. That's the playoffs. Once you get to sixteen, the playoffs start. Right. So you'll be down to sixteen teams. You know, the question quickly. is this: It's not the matter of team. The amount of teams is irrelevant to this. If guys aren't wanting to do this, well, the teams that don't, then or it the, doesn't the players, matter. If you're the number one seed or the number five seed, you're in, the, and you got to do this, or you don't, you don't win the championship. The players that don't want to do this are the ones that are currently outside of the playoffs. It's the guys from the, the Trailblazers That's fine. and whatever. Then else. Don't show up. I That's assure you, your team can put a team of scrubs out there. Somebody from the D League will get called up. Yeah. get a spot, and they'll sign a, a three 10-day contract, something like that, and they'll show up, they'll get their butt whipped, they'll go home, and the, the owners will and, and GMs and coaches will evaluate the fact that you didn't want to come play when we had a shot to do something here. And and you'll you'll have to take – yes, you you have the right to not show up and play. Nobody can put a gun to your head. That's the beauty of this country. You, can, you, don't, know, you don't have to force to do any job. All right, but they also don't have to pay you for that. And then if they want to use that against you in negotiations for the next contract, they're absolutely at liberty to do that. Hey, they've, they've all got team plans, right? Yes. It, do you think that it would be smarter for the NBA to maybe quarantine for all of July and get the, uh, the eight regular season games that are left, get those knocked out, and then switch it back and go play the playoff games in home arenas? That seems to make more sense to me. Yeah, I think I don't know why they're not doing that anyway. I know, I never understood why these people made a big deal about we all have to go live in a bubble because well the, 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 they want them in the bubble because then they can't they know if you get here and you don't have it if you still live at home you're going to still go out and do whatever it is that you normally do and the team doesn't have control over you. That's True. the problem. I mean, is uh, John Morant right now is still in Memphis. Yeah. And if he wants to go out he can go out to any bar in Memphis that he wants to. Uh, he's he's out playing right now. But like, you, he, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. What I'm saying is, like, John Morant was out uh, with uh, uh, campaign and a bunch of the the highly ranked, you know, recruits and whatnot, some of the college players around town, and they were having big pickup games uh, somewhere in town. So, so you can't you can't quarantine them here, and yeah. that's why they that's why they want to do the bubble. And I it's understand not, that. It's not travel. It's not worried about catching it in transit. It's right now we know everybody that has it or don't have it. If you get them there and you get everybody tested and nobody's got it and they don't see anybody else outside of the people that they're with until this thing's over with, then they can't just magically catch it. Agreed. But now, if, if you leave them at it. home, then LeBron can get it. And now he's out for two weeks of the playoffs. Yeah, which I, I, I that's the problem. I do understand that. I do understand where you're coming from. It's still just 
oh, it's insane. Like, the odds of them getting it are so minuscule. Um, Michael said, uh, let's see, if any player has an issue with it, then stay home. Damian said the NBA is rigged. Uh, Matt said, taking a bunch of guys who do whatever they want now, uh, going to be told to stay in a limited area, uh, not smart. Not smart. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's just tough to figure out exactly what's going to happen. It's smart. It's just not easy. It's not going to work. I mean, these guys are going to leave. They're going to sneak out. They're going to get yeah. out. That's just they're, part they're of gonna it. They're going to get out, like, period. And then the question is, what happens when they get out? Are we going to kick them out of the playoffs? Like, are we? I mean, Who what knows? happens? You can't come back into the bubble? You're out? I mean, it's kind of crazy, right? I mean, uh, Adam Silver has never stood up to a player not one time in his entire life. Oh, let, let Damian said Adam Silver is the rig commissioner ever, uh, the most rig commissioner ever. If he was smart, there would be an even amount of teams in each conference instead of having favorites. Yeah, I have no idea how we got 22 teams. And, and only one extra team from the East. Like, nine from the East, 13 from the West. Yeah, I was about to say, it's, it's so lopsided. It's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. It, it was, who is closest to being I don't want to make, make anybody mad. That's all he does. He doesn't ever want to make anybody mad. Right. Which is, and, He's and so it's, afraid to not let one of these players get upset. It's kind of crazy to see. Be a leader. Don't be like, there's exactly. a world between Adam Silver being worthless because he's just so in the player's butts and Roger Goodell being just an idiot and, 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 and a, and a taskmaster basically, and just unwilling to ever give the players anything. There, there like, should be a great, there's area. a world in which you don't have to have this guy and you don't have to have this guy. You can be somewhere in the middle where you stand up to the players when they're wrong. You tell them, quit whining get on the bus, we have to finish the season, guys, and not be an authoritative, uh, you know, a, a, a dictator or, or whatever. Like, there's a world between those two guys. Yeah, Damian said, I miss David Stern. Uh, Michael said, Adam Silver has no spine. And Joseph Gomez said, they wanted Zion, and they're not saying it. Like, yeah, they, they wanted But I uh, think if they do the extra players. team, Zion would have gotten in, right? It would have been Sacramento that would have gotten left out. Well, now, here's here's why it's a little bit crazy. Um, Sacramento, Portland, and who am I missing? Oh, the Pelicans. Pelicans. Uh, all three of them are tied with the exact same record. So, you know. Yeah, and that's the hard part. That's the there hard part. So, but instead, they brought the Suns and the Spurs, and the Spurs are only a half a game back of those other teams only because they didn't get their game in on the night that everything got shut down. That's right. So they're all, they're, they didn't play. They they could be tied, but they played yeah, one less they're, game. They're twenty seven and thirty six, and the other they, teams they, just, are they played one less game. That that makes sense. Yeah. So at some point in time, you just got to be a bad guy. Yes, you got to say you got to say this is the rule. Now here's the thing: if this is the rule, twenty two teams were all showing up. Now you have to be a bad guy. So you weren't a bad guy before to whittle this thing down and make it make sense. Now you have to be a bad guy. You got to get on the phone with these guys. You got to get on the phone with their agents. You got to get on the phone with the general managers and the coaches. Say, get these guys here. Yeah. Get your asses here. I don't want a bunch of D-league guys showing up for the playoffs. Yeah. Otherwise, it's. It, I mean, it's going to end up with an asterisk next to it. That just the way it goes. Michael said, you can't leave Portland out. Nobody wants to hear Baby Lillard again. Oh, my God. And that's, that's part of it. I would be upset if they left Portland out just so he we wouldn't hear from him for a while. Yeah, he'd bitch for a little bit and then he'd disappear. He's a great player. If he just shows up and plays his ass off, I'm happy. Well, that's because I what's love crazy. watching him play. He's an absolute assassin on the court. Michael said, "Make Portland and Sacramento play a pickup game in the streets of Chaz in Seattle." <laughs> yeah, that that would work. Uh, no, I'm, I I don't understand why they didn't just do like weird play in games for all those teams that are close, and then tell the Wizards sorry. Tough shit. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I look. The, the whole thing behind this is Portland, you've got some players that are, well, we can make the playoffs. Like, yes. if, if they'll give us a real shot to make the playoffs, then we'll come back. Well, you're only three and a half games back. Everybody gets eight games. If you are within four games, then you have a play-in, like, series. You have to beat yeah. the eight seed twice. The eight seed only has to beat you once. That's right. Whoever wins goes, right? So, you know, basically a best two out of three, but... You know, not if you you're make, the not if you're the higher seed, right? If you're the higher seed, you only got to win one time. Um, but it, you could still end you, up with you three gotta games. You got to sweep. You got to win two yeah. games. Well, no, you, 
Yeah, they'd yeah, be only two sweep. games. You have yeah, it wouldn't be games. best of three. It'd be best of two. Uh, not even best of two. No, Either just, you got to win two games. You got to win two games, or the eight seeds got to win one. Either way, Portland has got some guys that really think, "Oh, we can make the playoffs. I want a good shot at the playoffs." Well, you got your shot, right? Yeah. But then you still have players on that team. Carmelo Anthony is the main one that is saying, "I don't really know that I want to go to Orlando." Like he's yeah, the main but he's guy. not a main player. No, he's not a main player for them, but he is the he is the most outspoken and the That's most. Fine. Then high... leave his ass at home because he spent half the year on the on the couch anyway. Like yeah. he didn't even play half the season. Uh, Michael said, "Shame on them! Uh, shame on all of them for taking nights off. Just cut them off, and maybe they'll learn not to take nights off." Yeah, I mean, that, that's why you don't sit out games. That's why you don't, I mean, you never know when this stuff's going to happen, right? Yeah. Now, the odds of it happening again in the future. Every game's great, important. Yeah, every game should matter. If they if they didn't do load management in the beginning of the season, then you're right. Then maybe you're, you'd are you be a whole lot better than you are now. Yeah, and, and for Portland, they had two starters injured for a, a large part of this series. And that so happens. Yeah, that happens. Like you can't um, control that, but also you can't be mad about that. It's nobody else's fault either. Exactly. It's nobody else's fault. Period. So, it is what it is. Uh, I'm curious to see what's going to happen here because, you know, you you try and bring more teams, but you don't want to bring everybody. So, if you're not bringing everybody, you bring more teams. The teams that don't feel like they have the best shot at the playoff, uh, they don't really want to go down there and live in a bubble for however long, two months, three months. Um, so, now you've got a whole different situation on your hands. you got to come up with something else. Um, <laughs> Joseph said, We're too far into it. We're not coming up with something else. This is what we got. Yeah, I mean, it's... Like, it, this is the plan that's been set. There is no changing it now. There's just listening to guys bitch, and if they don't show up, they don't show up. My thing is this. If you're the general manager and you're the owner of that team, if you're the head coach on that team and contracts come up, man, that that's that's going to come into play. Oh, I think so. Now, I mean, if you're Damian Lillard, you're going to get whatever you want because you're the best player in the team and you're a top-10 player in the world. Uh, Michael said, it's always someone else's fault, guys. Come on, it's never my fault. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Joseph said Carmelo needs his check because his divorce with Lala cost him big. That was a really expensive divorce. It most certainly was. It most certainly was. All 